everybody welcome back to life with diddy this is diddy i am ashari and in today's video we will be showing you how you can make one of these into some dog treats so let's get started so for this i'll be using one and a half pounds of chunky chicken and turkey recipe and i'm actually only gonna cut about a quarter of that amount is about a quarter it actually has grids to tell you how much you're cutting for your food but we're not gonna be making food we're actually going to be using this to make dog treats since the packaging is very tightly sealed on both ends I decided to sorry I decided to cut both of the ends off um, to use these which is probably about a fourth um, of a pound um, to make the treats so we're gonna use both of those ends let's get started just in case you were wondering what it looked like once it's broken down it looks like this this is actually all of the rest of the food um, that is broken down and you can actually see real pieces of turkey meat in it this is actually ground chicken with peas brown rice and carrots um, their model is straight from the refrigerator to yours so there it is so the next thing we want to do after we break it down is we want to take pieces and put them together and actually mold them with our hands into whatever shape you want I'm gonna actually do this into like a little patty like this um, they might not stick together uh, this one doesn't have any egg in it so it might not stick but once you um, are able to get a shape um, you can go ahead and put it in the oven so we're gonna continue to shape these and we'll get started with the next step next we're gonna take our oven safe pyrex glass container and a piece of aluminum foil our aluminum foil and our future dog treats and we're gonna do this and I know what you're thinking why are you using aluminum foil if you're gonna use the oven safe glass container well I don't want it to have to wash unnecessary dishes this would be considered an unnecessary dish and I'm not gonna wash <laughs> So we're just gonna place them. Um, you might have to reshape them before placing them down, which is okay. Because by the time that the oven heats them up and everything, they'll definitely stick. But they'll still be soft enough for um, Fido to eat. So we're just gonna, there's nothing fascinating about this part. So we're just gonna continue doing this. Also, while we're doing this, we can go ahead and set the oven to 350 for 40 minutes. That's right, it's gonna take about 40 minutes for this to be done. And we'll be back. So now Diddy and I have about 38 minutes left. So I don't know what he wants to do, but maybe we'll play. You wanna play Diddy? Oh, out of focus. Like guys, look at what he does to our house. He goes and finds our dirty socks and he scatters them all over the floor. 
Oh, uh, maybe we'll play with some socks or something since that's what he likes to do. For 40 minutes, baby. 40 whole minutes. The countdown begins. We just got a few more seconds left. Look at Diddy. Diddy. <laughs> so cute. You're so cute, you know it. You do? Aww. So after you finish, this is what they will look like. Mm -hmm. Some yummy dog biscuits. I broke off a nice hot piece. Excuse the trash. <clears throat> but I broke off a nice hot piece for Diddy. He's already wet. <laughs> he already knows what it is. So, ooh, look at him go. <laughs> he just took the whole thing to my hand. Anyways, I guess that's what I get for teasing him. So, yeah. I think by his little licky face that he definitely liked them. Um, they should last you three to five days in the refrigerator. Uh, and, <laughs> and they're good training treats as well. So, Make sure that you guys rate, comment, subscribe, like this video if you like it. And until the next time, peace. I'm out.